This film will tell about a woman named Cho. She seemed to be getting ready to go to work heading to her office. When leaving her apartment, she found something strange with her door lock. Looks like someone is trying to pin the door of her room. Feeling suspicious, she decided to change the door pin. Cho is an employee at a bank in Korea. She works to make ends meet. After work, she talked to her best friend named Hyo. Cho desperately needs a permanent job at the bank. Hyo informed that Cho had the potential to get a permanent job to become a permanent employee at the bank if she was able to improve her performance. Hearing the words of her best friend, Cho very excited. Arriving at the apartment, she received a package from an unknown person. It turned out that the person who sent the package was her mother. Her mother wrote a letter on her doorstep. But there are those who make it suspicious that the door lock is always open when she comes home from work, even though she always locked it when she leave her apartment. Tired of working, Cho went straight to sleep. The sound of knocking on the door was heard from outside her room. Cho who was currently lying on her bed decided to peek at the door, but no one was there. But she found cigarette butts right in front of her door. She reported the incident to the security guard. But the security did not follow up the case because nothing happened. Cho went back to sleep with fear still in her mind and a mysterious man seemed to be in bed with Cho who was asleep. In the morning, she meets Han who is a janitor at the apartment. Cho had asked Han about the CCTV camera footage and told him about someone trying to break into her apartment. However, because she was in a hurry to leave for work, Cho did not ask for the recording. She also tried to rent a new apartment but the cost is more expensive than the apartment she currently lives in. She also told Hyo that she feels something is wrong with her apartment. Every time she wakes up, she always feels tired and dizzy. Hyo suggests to her to just get married and buy a new house. In her office she found a customer named Kim. Which turned out to be her neighbor. Cho tried to break the ice by asking about Kim's daily life. However, because Kim is an emotional person, Kim invites Cho to drink coffee together. Cho who had no intention of having coffee with Kim trying to divert the conversation to something else. Feeling that he was rejected by Cho, he shouted at Cho with harsh words. Suddenly this made the whole office turn to her. Luckily Sung came and called security to kick Kim out. Cho who was tired from working all day went straight to sleep. Shortly after she fell asleep, someone came out from under her bed and that person gave Cho anesthetic to make her unconscious. The man raped Cho every day without Cho's knowledge. Now we know why Cho always feels dizzy every time she wakes up and feels weak. Arriving at her office, Cho is called by his boss who is on her good performance. Cho became a permanent employee and her salary was increased. During overtime work, she got a call from an unknown person. But Cho did not pick up. On the side of the road, Kim came back to Cho and this time he invited Cho to come home with him. Because she doesn't want anything to happen to her, Cho refuses. Luckily Sung came and threatened Kim if he dared to approach Cho again. Cho was escorted by Sung to her apartment. Long story short, Cho has arrived at her apartment. But the electricity in her room suddenly went out and someone knocked on the door from outside. It turns out that person is Sung who delivers Cho's wallet left in his car. Seeing that the lights in Cho's room were off, Sung tried to find out the cause and after investigate it, it turned out that the main terminal switch in the room was dead. After successfully turning on the lights, Cho was grateful because Sung had helped. Cho also offered coffee to Sung who was washing his hands. Cho questioned how Sung could know her apartment number even though she had never told Sung at all. Before he could answer, Cho hurriedly left because she was afraid of Sung and left Sung in her room. Apparently Cho called the police to come to her apartment. When the door was opened, Sung mysteriously hanging in front of the door in a lifeless condition. Because of the incident Cho was interrogated by the police. Cho instead accused of plotting the murder of Sung. Luckily, the officers did not find any evidence used to kill Sung so Cho was not jailed. In the morning, Cho is scolded by her boss due to last night's incident and Cho is fired from her job. Arriving at the apartment, she asked Han to show the CCTV camera footage. But she found nothing. Because she was afraid, she asked Han to check her room. But Han did not find anything suspicious. When Cho was cleaning the room, she found a door lock that was under her bed. 
She tried to find the owner of the key by checking every room in her apartment. When she found a door that matched the room key she found, she found that the owner of the room was gone. Cho asks for Hyo's help to investigate the case she is experiencing. Hyo mentioned that there were two possible people who entered Cho's room, namely the owner of the room she found or Han the janitor who had a duplicate key. In the data investigated by Hyo shows that the person always buys the same item and at the same time every day. They goes to the supermarket where the person buys goods every day. They both then waited for that person. Then there is one person who buys at the same price as the target they are looking for. They followed suit. Because the path forked, they were forced to part ways. Cho sees the food waste that the man bought earlier at an abandoned apartment. She tried to get into the abandoned apartment. But the door is locked. Then she tried to enter a random pin but failed until when she entered her pin the door opened. Cho finds something shocking in which there is a woman who is being held captive. In a panic, Cho tries to contact the police. But at the same time the owner of the house came. Meanwhile, Hyo managed to catch up with the person who bought the food earlier. However, this person was not the target she was looking for. Back to Cho, she hides under the bed while the mysterious man gives anesthetic to the woman being held captive. Then Cho saw the person cutting the woman's hand with a saw. Cho who saw that was very scared. Cho ran from the room and her actions were seen by the mysterious man and the man chased her. With all her might, Cho ran away from the man. Unfortunately the man found Cho who was hiding. Luckily Hyo came in time and hit the man with a cart. Shortly after that, the police came and the masked man left. Then Detective Lee asks for proof of the story Cho told him. But Cho can only say that the mysterious man has an ancient watch in his hand. With these clues, Lee clearly has a hard time finding the culprit. Officers found the body of a woman who had been mutilated by the man earlier. This time the police made Kim a suspect in a case of murder and torture of a woman's body that had been found by the police. Detective Lee begins to interrogate him with various questions. Kim seemed intrigued by the question plus Kim was wearing a watch exactly like what Cho told him. Based on the interrogation he had carried out, Lee told Cho that it seemed that Kim was indeed the one who had committed the crime. The police will take action if Kim is proven guilty because the police have not yet established a suspect. Cho, who doesn't want anything to happen to her moves to a new apartment. Meanwhile, Kim appears to be meeting with Han to find out about Cho's current whereabouts, but he didn't tell him. In the evening, Cho gets a package containing her cell phone which is due the other day. In the cell phone someone sent a picture of Cho sleeping. Shortly after that, Cho gets a video call from Hyo, but it turns out that the one who made the call was a mysterious man who was in Hyo's room. Knowing that her best friend was in danger, Cho ran to her friend's apartment. The apartment door was locked. After a while, a young man opened the door and came out. Unfortunately, Hyo's apartment door is locked. Cho tries to force it open using a fire extinguisher. Moments after that, Kim appeared and attacked Cho. Detective Lee came and neutralized Kim Cho rushes to force her way into Hyo's room and she finds that her best friend is in a bad condition. At the hospital, Lee explains to Cho that her video call by the man was a fake. The man directed the cell phone camera at his laptop screen. In addition, the police also found Kim's fingerprint on the tool used to cut off Hyo's leg. However the police have yet to do a DNA test on Kim. The police will set him as the perpetrator if the DNA matches. Then Cho apologizes to Hyo because she has involved her best friend in her troubles. Lee gave Cho a penguin-shaped surveillance camera to monitor her room. Arriving at her apartment, she set up the surveillance camera. After that, she went to a supermarket. At the supermarket she meets Han. He invites Cho to discuss about the mysterious man who followed her. Cho, who had finished with her shopping, was about to leave the supermarket. But unexpectedly, Han bought the same thing that the mysterious man bought. Plus he also wearing the same watch as the one Cho saw on the mysterious man the other day. Seeing this, Cho realized that Han was the culprit. Then she got a call from Lee who informed her that Kim was not the real culprit. Kim has been killed by the mysterious man. Lee asks Cho not to leave her apartment for fear of something happening to her. 
Cho checked the surveillance camera that she installed in the room. And sure enough it turned out that the culprit was Han. Surveillance camera footage shows Han breaking through the door into the room and hiding under Cho's bed. Cho who realized that Han was under her felt scared to the point that her legs shivered with fear. Han realized this and tried to grab Cho's feet. Unfortunately, the bedroom door was locked so tightly that finally Han caught Cho and took her to his place. Meanwhile on the other hand, the police find suspicion in Han. From the results of the police investigation found Han's hideout. Meanwhile, Cho is in a bad position. Han threatens to cut off her legs and arms if Cho tries to run away. Cho, who is still under the influence of drugs tries to escape. Because she can't find a way out, Cho was cornered in a room. When he was about to open the door of the room, Han heard a glass breaking. It turned out to be Lee who managed to find Han's hiding place. Han attacks Lee with an axe. Han luckily saw that and dodged and they both fight. However, when Cho came out, Lee had been killed by Han. Cho trying to fight Han until they were both locked in a cupboard. She was able to kill Han after Han's head was stabbed with a nail. After Han died, Cho was free from all the disturbances that she had experienced and the case that happened to her had been resolved in court. This film ended with the feeling of trauma that was still in Cho's mind. Thanks for watching and please subscribe and see you on the next video. Love you.